My name is John Deleuze. I'm the CEO and founder of Abbott Tibby Metals. So we've had a very transformational six months since we announced our acquisition of the B26 deposit, uh, which we were the top performing Canadian junior mining company of 2023. So really since announcing a company and making an acquisition in 2023 of the B26, which has a resource of 11 and a half million tons at 3% copper equivalent, we've been able to raise $22 million, largely with high net worth individuals with no warrants, really to push through tough market conditions and position the company well for what we believe is a very explosive copper and gold commodity market that we're going to see over the next coming years. So our flagship asset is the B26 deposit. And I don't think I'll get a chance like this again in my career in the fact that we've optioned a deposit, a polymetallic deposit that was de de developed by Soquam, a subsidiary of, of the Quebec government financed by Investment Quebec. Uh, that had never been valued in a public company since the discovery in 1997. So we're really the first public company, as I mentioned, to option and operate a very significant polymetallic deposit in the province of, of Quebec. So we really believe that Quebec is a top mining jurisdiction in Canada, and we're very, we're very grateful for the opportunity that we have been granted by the Quebec government and SOCOM in that we are developing a very strong copper-focused polymetallic deposit with also uh, gold, zinc, and silver credits as part of the system. And we're now fully funded up to Q1 of 2026. So we're very uniquely positioned in what is still an overall tough junior mining market, but we're really positioned for success before the market conditions catch up, which I think is going to happen very soon. So the current exploration results and milestones achieved. So in Q1, we got to work right away. We drilled 13,500 meters of drilling. We were successful in extending both to the east and to the west. And in filling the deposit, we we had were very successful in infilling the high-grade lens. In the center of the deposit, we had up to 11.5% copper equivalent over 10 meters, so very high-grade. So really, we delivered on what we promised investors. In Q1, we tested the first 300 meters vertical for the open pit potential, extending the system in both directions and providing high-quality infill drilling to really help showcase the potential of B26. So we're very happy. And as I mentioned, we're getting into the remainder of our fully funded 50,000 meter drill program. So we're, we a lot of catalysts to come over the coming months. How we engage with local community and stakeholders is we, part, as I mentioned, we are operating in what I believe is the best province in, in Canada, in Quebec. So we have great relationships with the government. They're very supportive, whether it's financing or permitting, which is really important in exploration is a very risky business. But what I want to ensure with my shareholders is that if we make a discovery or if we're lucky enough and have the success in bringing something towards a development pro stage project, are we going to benefit? And we are, we are able to, with, with Quebec being a very stable jurisdiction, 50% of copper production worldwide is from areas of political instability. And I think places like Quebec will become more and more valuable. Uh, so, and the local First Nations, we have a very strong partnership with Pickagan First Nations. They're a very mature group and they've seen the benefit that mining has on the community. So we're in constant communication with their, their mineral resource lead. And we're excited to host them on site over the next month or so so that they can review the ongoing work at B26. And we make sure that we capture all of the operating procedures that they want to see implemented as the prog project. Because really, without the support from those groups, these projects are impossible to move forward. But we're very excited to be in Quebec, where you are very well supported. So how we're going to finance exploration activities going forward is, thankfully, we're in a position of strength. We're financed out to Q1 of 2026, so that during from now until then, we're able to consider financings in a position of strength where we can take on terms that are accretive and recognize the value that we've created up into this point. So really, we've, we've financed to date without any investment banks. I think we're going to be look, work, looking to work with investment banks in the future where we're going to be able to do that, as I mentioned, in a position of strength that we're getting a good return on, on, on investment for our prior shareholders that are participating in the financing but also support what we believe is a very large scale target at B26 that we'll see increased levels of financing as we prove out our model. So really we're in a good position. We're meeting with majors, with institutions. So we really have all options and we're gonna decide what's in the best interest of the company.
Well, I think firstly, I want to thank my shareholders because without their support, I'm not able to do and our team isn't able to do what we love to do at B26 and Abbott Dewey Metals. So I think this has been a tough mining market. There's lots of names to pick from. So I, I would appreciate their support. And really, we have grown from a small junior to one of the most active in Quebec in six months time. So I give Tim, I have to all my team members that have allowed that, but also our shareholder base, because without their support, we can't do this. So I think I thank their their support and uh, we have a lot in store for the coming uh, months and years.